everyone. I haven't done a video blog in a while, but I thought that today I would do something a little different. Um, something hopefully that's enjoyable that you can work on with your dog. A lot of people always ask me about how do I get my dog to drop something or not to want to grab something off the street. For me, I like to use a game in order to be able to teach this kind of thing. Um, the game that I'm going to use is tug of war. Um, because when I ask the dog to tug, um, I'm asking the dog to take it, hold it, even though I'm pulling on it, and then in time to release it. There's a lot of wild rumors out there about tug of war making dogs more aggressive and things like that. Um, I don't believe that's the case. It hasn't been the case in my experience with tug of war, and I've been playing tug of war professionally with dogs for like 10 years now, and I haven't seen one become more aggressive. I think the big secret is making sure that you have control of the toy, meaning that I start the game and I end the game. And when the game's over, most of the time, 70 to 80% of the time, I end the game with the toy so the dog doesn't have it. Um, that way, I'm in charge, all right? So first thing about tug of war is telling your dog to take it. Didi here does not need much by way of motivation for this. Didi, take it. All right, she's on it and she's holding it. You clearly see she got a good hold on this. I'm playing with her. Ah, good girl, Didi. When I'm playing, I'm moving in a figure eight pattern in order not to hurt my dog's neck. Good girl, you be excellent. And then when I'm ready to have her drop it, I will slow my hand, stop pulling on it, and then I will tell her, drop it. She doesn't? Oh, she did? Good. All right, she re-engaged, good girl. And she just let go of it. In order to teach her to drop it, though, I guess I'll have to show you um, without telling her. Dean, take it. So she's tugging again, here she is, she's tugging on it, tugging, tugging, tugging. And then what I need to do is I need to get her to let go of it. I'm not gonna tell her to drop it because I want her to keep tugging. I want you to see how I do this. Slow my arms down, all right? And then I let my other hand slide in, right along the rope toy, right down to her nose. And that's when I would tell her, drop it, and keep my hand against her nose. Nope, drop it. If she comes back for it, I use my hand as a barrier in order to be able to block her off. I do not remove the toy. If I remove the toy, she's gonna wanna chase that toy. All right, so let's take it and leave it. Good, let's take it and leave it with, uh, with a tug toy. Good, good curl, Dee Dee. Excellent. Dee, drop it. Good, Dee, excellent, very good, drop it. Good, excellent, very good girl, very good, drop it. Good, good girl, yes. Leave it, good, see, got my toy. 